What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're going to be drawing Cinderace from Pokemon Sword and Shield. And we're going to get started at the top center of our page with the headpiece. So right in the center, let's start with a point. From this point I'm going to curve out and up on either side. Let's start with the left. I'm going to curve out and up towards the tip. Go back to the center, we're going to curve in the opposite direction. We're going to go all the way up towards the same height. Now we're going to taper this in towards the center, leaving a gap. Let's start back on the side. We're going to go a little bit wider as we come in. Go back to the right and do the same thing. From here, we're going to draw two straight lines coming up and then just merge them in towards the center, leaving a gap at the top. So start with the left side. Going up and just bending that in. Go to the right and do the same thing. Now we're going to add a diamond along the top. An angle out towards left and right. And we're just going to pull this up towards a point. Now we're going to tuck the eyes in underneath this headpiece. So over on the left, we're going to start with an oval. Starting from the top, curve out, round up the bottom, and then just pull that up on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. So we're going to line up the inside, curve down towards the bottom, up, and then just pull that in. Then we're going to draw a smaller half oval on the inside for the irons. So from the outside we're going to step in, curve around, and we're just going to pull this up on the inside of the eye. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then in the center we're going to draw an even smaller half oval for the pupil. Let's move back to the center and draw on the nose. From this point we're going to step down, start with a dot, and from here I'm going to curve out and up underneath the headpiece on either side. And then from the bottom tip of the nose we draw a straight line coming down, and we'll draw a curve from left to right to the mouth. Now we're going to move out and draw on the lower half of the head. In line with the bottom of the eye, we're going to step out, draw a half circle, coming down underneath the mouth, and then just pull that back up on the right side. And then we'll add the fur along the side of the head. Starting on the left, curve out and up. Go to the right and do the same thing. Now I'm just going to pull this back in. We're going to taper this, coming in and then down. We're going to draw one more, but we're going to tuck this in behind. So from this point, we're going to step out, curve out, and then up. Do the same thing on the right. Now I'm just going to pull that back in again. Just curve it in, and then down. We're going to add that detail underneath each eye. So on the left side, we're going to draw a short angle line going up and out. And the same thing on the right. Now I just want to taper this back in with a short line. And then from here we're going to curve down and pull this up underneath the eye. Now we're going to move back up and draw on that large centerpiece. On the left side we're going to step in, start by curving out, and then in towards the middle. And then we're going to curve this up towards the top of that centerpiece. I'm going to work our way down towards the right. I'm just going to curve out and then down and tucking that in behind the headpiece. And now let's add in the large ears. About halfway down the centerpiece, I'm going to curve out and then up towards the top. Go over towards the right and do the same thing. And then from the top, we're going to curve out the ear and tuck this in behind the fur. So let's start with the left side. Curving out, and just pulling that in behind the fur. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving out, rounding up the side of the ear, and then pulling that in. Let's draw the inside of the ear. From this point, we're going to step out, start by curving up, and then bending that out. Do the same thing on the right. Curving up, and out. Now I'm going to curve in the opposite direction. We're going to connect the top and bottom. Curving down and then in. Alright, now that we've completed the head, let's work our way down the body. We start with the neck first. 
So underneath the chin in the center, we're gonna draw two straight lines coming down the side of the neck towards the body. Now we're gonna round out the side of the body. Start at the base of the neck on the left, curve out, and then down towards the hip. Go to the right and curve in the opposite direction. We'll take the hips and draw two straight angle lines coming down towards the center. Come down on the left side, and then go up on the right. Let's add in the collar. Underneath the neck, in the center, start with a point, and go up and out towards the left, and then the right. And I just want to trace this out along the bottom. Step down in the center again, start with another point, and go up towards the left and right. Now let's add in the shoulders. From the top of the line on the outside, we're going to curve up and then out on both sides. And then from the tip, we're going to curve down and in towards the side of the body. We're going to leave a little gap along the sides. And then we're going to curve down and then in towards the side of the body, right about there. Now let's continue working down with the legs. We're going to start with the sides of the leg first. Starting the left hip, I'm going to curve out and then down towards the knee. Go to the right and do the same thing. Let's round out the bottom of the leg. Starting on the left, we curve down and up. And then we're going to curve this up and in towards the center. Go in. And up right in the middle, curve down and out toward the right. Let's add that trim across the hip. From this point, we're going to step down, draw a point, angle up and out towards the left and right. Now we're going to pull this down and in with a short line. And then we'll angle back up and out towards the hips. Let's add that decorative trim along the side of the legs. We start from the very top, short angle line coming down, line up with the right, do the same thing. Now it's going to come down and out just beside the leg. And come down and in again. Now I'm going to draw a longer angle line coming down just up above the knee. Now we're going to draw that large cuff around the knees. In the inside corner of the leg, we're going to step up, go a half circle, curving in and then back out. And do the same thing on the right side. And then from here, we're going to draw another curve, coming down and then up. And then we're going to add two spikes on the side of the leg. Starting on the left, we're going to curve out and then up. And then we'll draw a short angle line coming down and in. And then we'll angle back up and out. And we'll pull this back in behind the leg, just up above the corner of the knee. Let's continue working down with the lower legs. From the inside of the cuff, right here, curve out and then down. We'll do the same thing on the right side. And then we're going to round out the bottom of the feet. From the heel, we'll curve down and up towards the toe. Now from the toe, I'm going to round out the top of the foot. I'm going to curve up. I'm just going to bend this down, aiming towards the heel. We're going to stop right about there. Do the same thing on the right. Curving up towards the top of the foot, and then bending that down. Let's go back over to the left side. I want to tuck the shin in behind the foot. So from the end of this line, we're going to step back out. We're going to curve this up and in underneath the cuff. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving up towards the top. Now let's separate out the tip of the foot. Starting at the top, curve in and then down towards the bottom of the foot. We'll do the same thing on the right. And then we'll separate out the toes. From the tip of the foot, we're going to step in and draw that same curve. Going up, leave a gap, and draw that one more time. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the arms. The arm on the left is going to be on the hip. So we're going to start with the top of the arm first. So just beside the shoulder, curve out, and then down towards the elbow. 
I'm gonna curve down and in towards the hip. We're gonna leave a little gap. Down and into right about there. Now the hand's just gonna fold down and in behind the hip. Come down and pull that in. Now we'll move back up and draw the lower edge of the arm. From the elbow, I'm gonna step in, curve down, and then cross in behind the shoulder, and then we'll tuck the forearm in behind the upper arm. Step back, curve in, and then down in behind the body. Now the arm on the right is just gonna be hanging down the side. So we'll start at the bottom, curve out, and then down towards the wrist. Now the hand is basically a little knit. It's almost like a half bowl, curving all the way around. And then the top of the arm is going to get wider as you come back in behind the shoulder. And pull up and pull that in. We're going to separate out the fingers with two curves. One on the inside and one on the outside. Now let's add the edge of the tail over on the left side. So just underneath the hand, curve up and then out. Now I just want to taper this down and in, right beside the leg. Draw a smaller one. Curving out and down, and then pull this down and in behind the leg. And that's pretty much it. There's Cinder Ace from Pokemon Sword and Shield. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.